of video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use the clouds or difference clouds functionality to create some interesting patterns and the key thing is to make a document that is 128 times a multiple like say 5 or 10. And I'm just going to go for say file new and 1280. Once you create that you can actually use the difference clouds or clouds to create patterns. So so I've got that there. So what you do then, set the colour. I'm going to go for red and blue there for the foreground and background. And filter and go down to, and you could use clouds or difference clouds. Doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to go for difference clouds. And now the colour obviously is still reflected there. So if I'd gone for a different colour combination, the result would have been different there. So if I actually just quickly go to image adjustments, invert, you'd see you've got the colour there. Right. What I'm going to do, just invert that. Now what you can do, go for filter and difference clouds again. Of course, you don't have to use the same colours. You can actually go over here and maybe make that white and maybe orange and again, filter, difference clouds and so on and so on. So you can just apply it and change the colour numerous times. There, maybe go for and again. Sometimes, once you actually get this point, you think, I have no idea what the color combinations will end up resulting. So, it's really experimentation. So, filter and difference clouds, and you get the result of that. But the key thing is just go over to edit and define pattern, click OK. Then, you can just go to layer and new fill layout pattern, click OK. And now, what you can do, you can just say, say 25. And there you've got your design, it's still a pattern. So just go 50, just got a great little design, very different from the usual sort of like difference cloud or clouds. Now, what you can also do, of course you've got that design there, you can then go to a layer and new new layer. Now, difference cloud, if you oh, I'm just gonna quickly show you difference cloud, I just run that, it will come up with an error. It says, could not complete because the area is empty. That's okay. What you need to do, just go to edit and you can fill, and I'm just going to go with black, but you can, of course, choose any color and then use different clouds and maybe I'll say vary the color there. So just going to go for blue, click OK. There's a lot. That's one thing about Photoshop, it does love its uh, panels and dialogues. I wish it was uh, easy, but anyway. Filter, difference clouds, and there's another applied. Now, that is still a pattern. You can actually define that as a pattern. Just go to edit and define pattern. Save that as a pattern. But you can, of course, also go down here and lighten and maybe overlay and so on and so on. So you can really create a very, very nice, colorful design there. Now, once you've got that, you can then go I'm just going to flatten it at this point. I'm not going to continue, but you can see the basic combination and then just go to edit and define pattern. Click OK. And again, layer, new fill layer, pattern. And then turn that. Bring up the pattern fill. You can obviously move it, not in the previous, unfortunately, not in the previous one. You have to wait till this comes up. So, sometimes I do that, I just go over and think, oh, I can move. No, it can only be moved when it's actually this one, the pattern fill will dialogue appears. So, and also, of course, again, you can just go over here and set it to 50 or 75 or whatever you want, just vary it or go the other way. Again, just click OK, and there's very useful design just created using the difference clouds or clouds. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.